From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hi, dear Ropecast listeners, and welcome to our second in a series of pre Christmas English reading recommendations, something you can put on your wish list books in English that will help you get better in English. Well, And I'm not here with my usual partner again, with Roger Charlton, but I'm here with Silke Löw. Hi, Silke. Hi. And she is our expert on crime novels. So, Silke, do you have any recommendations? I do. I read lots of crime novels. It was hard for me to pick some that I could recommend, but I've come up with a few suggestions. Want to start with an easy one? I think Alexander McCall Smith and his number one ladies detective agency should be the one that you can choose because it's um, set in Botswana and uh, takes English at a very simple level. It's a middle-aged lady and after the death of her father, she opened a detective agency. But it's not... A traditional detective agency. It's not a traditional crime book. It's rather solving problems in people's lives. Okay. Is this, I mean, judging from the title, is this a book that is rather for our female listeners? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. I, I do like books that are written for women. But Understandably it, it was, so, you are one. <laughs> but it was written by a man, so I do think that it appeals to men as well. The The book does involve a few cases, small individual cases. Um, it's not a police procedural. Mm-hmm. It's okay. um, about general life and Mara um, okay. uh solves the problems in people's lives by, you know, just talking to them, making a mm-hmm. phone call, finding out what is relevant. And because she's she's an everyday lady, people talk to her and, and tell her what's important. Um, and I think that should be interesting for men as well. Okay. What about the next one? Is that more traditional pr- police procedure? It's not a police procedure, but it's a traditional crime novel. When I checked the um, Penguin readers that are available for the upper intermediate level, right? Ma Ramotsu, the, the Botswana book, was um, pre-intermediate. And for my second recommendation, I looked at upper intermediate books. And there you find the traditional ones. Grisham, The Pelican Brief. Everyone knows that film, perhaps. Everyone knows Grisham. And there's, of course, Agatha Christie, Death on the Nile. Mm-hmm. something that you've seen on film, as yeah. a film. And um, I was going to recommend Arthur Conan Doyle and The um, Hound of Baskerville. That's very classic, isn't it? It is, but I think it's a good recommendation because um, I'm sure you've seen Sherlock, the BBC the series. The B- BBC adaptation of exactly. the Sherlock Holmes novels, very modern. And what I find particularly interesting is watching these films and then checking what the original case was because they do not take a one-to-one into a a modern adaptation. They pick up an idea and then transform it. Uh And I think it's worth going back to the original so that you have both cases so that you can compare them. I think that's very interesting. It sounds like a nice combination to look at this book and also maybe pick up the DVD of with the with the BBC Sherlock series. Right, and intermediate yeah. learners can certainly switch on the subtitles and uh, mm-hmm. get what they need from okay. the film as well. What about advanced learners? You got something for them as well? Yes, I do. And again, I picked a book that was written by a woman and uh, has got a female protagonist. She's a lawyer. But everything that happens is interesting for both men and women. There's nothing female about it. It, you know, includes a touch of a love story without being soppy. So guys, don't be afraid of reading that one or of giving that one as a gift. We're curious. What's the name of the book? <laughs> the name is The Green Line. The Green Line. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it starts by this young, overworked lawyer being tired of the very hard day in the office, trying to get home to get some sleep. Because she's so tired, she takes the wrong train and ends up in a part of Chicago that she's never seen before. Okay. 
and it's not one of the nicest parts. And um, it's very late in the night. She gets into, it's it's a corner cafe, I think it was, wants to use the phone because, of course, her battery is dead, so she can't use her mobile. And then she sees a dead woman, and that's oh. where it starts. Okay. She's afraid for her life, and um, things develop from there. Is this, uh, so this is set in America? It's an American it novel in, this in time? in Chicago. Okay, an American author. It is. So for all of those who would like to read an American novel, which has some language differences from English novels, I yes, take that's it, right. uh, that might be the book of choice. So thank you ever so much, Silke, for giving us these three recommendations. You're welcome. Of course, our listeners will find the written recommendations, the book titles, the authors on our website at www.ropecast.com. De. And one more thing, maybe you, dear listeners, also have some recommendations that you want to share with us. So just be sure to give us a comment on YouTube or enter something into our blog. And of course, stay tuned. We'll be back with another episode in just one week. Bye bye. Bye.